Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Rachel here with Makers Gonna Learn and I'm here to give you all a rundown on the Glitter Tumbler Tacket Method. This is a method that is sweeping the nation, as they say, when it comes to glitter tumblers and I can see why. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of glitter tumbling and it kinda, it, I, I would, in my professional opinion, say that it is a shortcut to glitter tumblers. It does not take nearly the amount of time. It does cut some corners and the quality is not that of a true glitter tumbler. However, if you do these steps correct and in the correct order and you allow enough time uh, in between the steps for uh, the certain products to dry, you should be just fine. That being said, I'm excited to show you all how to create a glitter tumbler using the Tacket method because it really doesn't use that many ingredients. The one ingredient I will admit that I don't have on the table right now is water. So I'm going to go grab a bottle of water that's on the desk that I forgot to grab. Um, and then other than that, you will of course need a stainless steel tumbler. We use a 32 ounce for this one, but uh, here is a smaller one. You're going to need spray polyurethane, your choice of spray paint that matches any um, ultra sparkly holographic -y fine glitter so you need that too and then your matching spray paint color it doesn't have to be the exact same color but close to it is totally fine and then you'll also need you might need a, a little sieve now um, I personally don't use it for this but if you have uh, if you really want to distribute your glitter a super even way you totally can use this I can use it for today's video just to show you um, and then you'll also need this um, it's Aline's original brand. It's tack it over and over. Um, you, if, if you guys use a lot of, you know, repositionable adhesives, we, you have some sprays, but this is like a liquid glue type kind. And if you guys know how to make a true glitter tumble, you know, we do use, um, some spray adhesive with that as well. So, Aside from that, you will need a brush. Now, this is a decoupage brand brush. It is a really cool brush. I do like those. And I will link all of these supplies down in the description below. You're going to need some vinyl gloves, a little paper plate, a small cup, and a, a little craft stick to mix with. So, aside from all that, you're um, not really going to need much. That's about it. Um, some good open air, some good open air, like outside, you'll need to spray paint outside. And then down under us right now, under the table, we have a big poster board because that is what we spray our projects outside and things like that. So, just make sure you have a well ventilated area and either you can spray on the grass or you can have a little poster board like we do to take outside and spray with you. But other than that, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. And guys, I wanted to show you a close up of the glitter tumbler as well. It does look very good. It looks uh, very well done. And I can't believe how well it looks for only have probably taken uh, just a little while to create it. So I'm very, very impressed with that. Anyways, guys, now that you see what it's going to look like when it's completed, Let's go ahead and start with this. So this is a just regular uh, tumbler here. You're just gonna pop the lid off of it and I would suggest wiping it down with some rubbing alcohol and then taking it outside and you're gonna spray paint it. So since we are gonna be using uh, blue glitter today, I chose this cute um, turquoise um, spray paint here. So go ahead and take this outside. You can either give it one good coat or two light coats of spray paint, allowing it to dry in between coats if you do more than one. And once this is all the way dry, give it a couple hours outside just to be sure that we can come back and we can go ahead and start from the process from where your cup is completely dry and painted. Okay guys, our cup has been outside, it was spray painted, it is complete, it is dry, and it looks very, very good. So we're gonna go ahead and set this off to the side and we're gonna glove up. So what we're gonna do is really these gloves are just protecting us and uh, our hands. It's not like anything's toxic or anything that we're using. I just really uh, love using gloves with stuff like this. It just kind of helps me out a lot. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our plate here, our little cup, our popsicle stick, our uh, tacket, and some water. So this solution is gonna be uh, equal parts. 
So we're gonna squeeze some of this tack it over and over into our little cup here. And I'm just gonna like tap it on the ground to make sure that it uh, gets in there pretty evenly. And then I'm just gonna hold it up to see how much water I need to pour in there. I'm gonna take my water and just pour a little bit in there. And it should be equal parts. So once you do that, you can go ahead and stir this around. And you're gonna have to stir for a while because this stuff does not want to mix at first. I'm not sure why it doesn't want to mix, but for some reason it just doesn't want to mix. So just keep stirring it until it becomes uh, all cohesive. And once it is nice and cohesive and all uh, mixed together now, you can go ahead and dump that popsicle stick. And you can bring in your plate here and just pour this onto your plate. And that just makes it easier to spread. Now bring in your tumbler here and we have our little paintbrush here, our little decoupage brush, and we're just gonna get some decoupage, or not decoupage, we're gonna get some of this Tacket water mixture here and we're just gonna brush it onto our tumbler here. Now we're gonna start from the bottom, work our way up, make sure to get in all those crevices. A nice light coat is really all that it needs. You don't wanna put too much of this on here and we're working down and the reason why we're working from the bottom down or the bottom up i guess i should say is because we don't want any of this tacket to kind of clump up down on the rim here where you know we put our uh, top back on so we don't want that to happen for us so just go ahead and give this a nice light coat and what i love about this brush is that it really does a good job at minimizing brush strokes here and now you're not going to be able to see the brush strokes anyways but this just does a really good job at minimizing the ones that would uh, pop up so once you get a nice thin coat all over this you can go ahead and set this over to the side of your craft room and go ahead and let this dry i would say about 30 minutes or an hour something like something like that just to let this get uh until it's clear it definitely needs to be clear you won't be able to see any more lines and make sure that it is all nice and dry and then we will be back and here is the dried tumbler. It is, it's not dr like, you know, dry, dry, like it's sticky to the touch, but that is because of the tacket. It will be sticky because it is um, a repositionable adhesive. So now we're just gonna bring in, this is what we spray painted it on as well. So sorry about that guys, but we're gonna bring a, um, a poster board in here and we have our glue or excuse me, glue. We have our glitter here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open this up. And once it's open, what we're gonna do is we're, I, I'm gonna do half this way and then half the way with the little sieve to show you guys. But really all you're gonna wanna do is sprinkle this on to your tumbler. So you can see I'm just sprinkling, but it is a little bit kind of messy. So what I'm gonna do, is I wanna bring in my little sieve here and just pour a whole ton in this sieve, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take my um, tumbler again and I'm just gonna knock this with my finger over here, you can see. And it kinda is like powdering a little donut, you know what I'm saying, with with some powdered sugar. It's it's a little more even, so you can do it like this. However you wanna do it really is, is fine. But I'm just saying not everyone has one of these. So if you don't have one of these, if you don't work with glitter a lot or anything like that, you don't have to. I'm not gonna take credit for this idea either. Um, during my research, I did see a YouTuber using this method and I thought it was really cool. And I was like, I'm gonna buy one of those just in case, but I'm not gonna, you know, advertise it as that's the only way you can do it. So I'm just gonna really get in here and just get all of this. And now, this is a cool thing also that I learned in my research. You see a pile of glitter here. Well, if you push your sieve in, you get some glitter in there to do the bottom with. So press your sieve, do the bottom, because you only got one hand, you know? So press your sieve in there, get the bottom. So cool, I thought that was really, really neat. So we're, don't forget about the bottom, we're gonna get the bottom. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our sieve over and now it's it's kind of like it's time for the magic to happen okay guys so i'm gonna bring you in pretty close and show you guys what's gonna happen so i'm gonna move i'm gonna also just so you can guys can kind of see the difference here i'm gonna move 
this up a little bit so we can see what's happening. And I'm gonna start to very gently uh, rub this glitter. Uh, and I'm not, it's not like I'm rubbing it off or rubbing it into anything. I'm just rubbing it. I'm not gonna be doing it hard or anything like that. I'm just gonna very gently rub my glitter in here. Again, not hard. You know, this isn't something you need to rush at. Just be very gentle. Rub that glitter in. Just section by section. And you can just kind of see the the magic start happening, you know? I mean, this is this looks really 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 nice. It looks so stinking cute. And uh you guys can use any uh, color of, like I said, super glittery fine or a uh, holographic glitter that you want. You can um, just make sure the only thing is just make sure that whatever color glitter you choose that the um, spray paint is a similar color because you do want that uh, to be a sim similar color. And just keep going, guys, just very lightly with your finger here. Rub it in. And again, it's not like you're rubbing it anywhere. You're just rubbing it. You're not trying to take it off, you know. It's like you're just dusting it off a little, just giving very light pressure here. But you guys can see how it's looking like. This looks so good. And I'm just going to turn this with my hand and we're just going to keep going. And guys, we will be back. I know you don't want to see this entire thing. We will be back when I have this whole entire thing done. I'm just going to keep being gentle and rubbing it with my fingers until it's done. And just like that, guys, the tumbler is done. I just went through here and just very lightly kept going with my fingers. And I almost forgot the bottom. I'm just going to do the bottom very quickly here. And now guys, now it's really smooth. All you're gonna wanna do guys is take this outside on another piece of poster board and you're gonna grab some just polyurethane spray, whatever you wanna do. And you can give it uh, one good coat or again, a couple of light coats of this. And then um, that would be the stage where you would wanna add your decal if you wanted to uh, add one. I personally don't wanna add one uh, today, but if you want to add a decal, you're more than welcome to add one. Just go ahead and add a decal um, after your first layer, and then you can add a, a second layer of that polyurethane afterwards. But we'll go ahead and come back after ours has dried. And side note, before I forget, do not let all this glitter go to waste. Roll up this piece of um, poster board and go ahead and add it back into your little pouch here. Do not let all that glitter go to waste. Well guys, they're done. Who would have ever thought that I could make a glitter tumbler video that wasn't an hour long? I absolutely loved doing all the research and learning all about this Tacket method and I am a better crafter for it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave us a comment down below and let us know if you are gonna make this. Don't forget to check out the description below with all of the links to all these products. I will be finding glitter all over myself for a week, I'm sure, but that is okay. It is one of the joys of crafting. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up and it subscribe guys and ring that bell to get notified for more awesome videos like this. If you haven't already subscribed to Makers Gonna Learn, you are missing out on so, so much fun with your die cutting machine. So definitely click the very first link in the description below to see exactly what you could get with our membership. I hope you enjoyed this awesome tutorial guys. As always, stay crafty. See ya!